And what's going on? It's your boy Fontaine, VIP SoundLab.com on Machina 2.1. Just had a VIP member request on how to get the audio card set up. Now, for you more advanced users, this is something you might not be interested in. But again, there are users who are new to the site. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to get that set up. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go over here to File. You want to go over here to your Audio and MIDI Settings. Okay. And as you can see right here, there's the driver, your device, the status, which shows how it's currently running, as well as your sample rate. You have Waspy mode, which is basically a shared mode. When I'm on a PC, I'm on Windows 8 right now. If you chose ASIO, you know, you can get into some of your ASIO settings. Now, I can't select this right now, and I want to show you some of, you know, my Digirac uh, uh, ASO drivers, but I can't do it right now because I'm making a video, but that's where you, uh, you find that. I need to leave it on Wasp because I'm selecting my, my USB microphone right now because my microphone has a built-in sound card. So just for convenience, that's why I use it. When I'm doing tutorial videos, it just makes it easier for me to get on the mic and, you know, run machine and, you know, my uh, screen capture and all that good stuff. But let's say if I was to select, you know, here's my M audio audio file one or if I want to use my core audio, I can select it here. So that's pretty much how that works, man, in a nutshell. And that should get you up and, and running very quickly also I had another request for uh, plugins so to get your plugins set up what you want to do is you want to go over here on the file you want to go to preferences your preference menu comes up like so you have different categories such as general default library plugins obviously is where we're going to be going hardware if you want to just you know your screen brightness and all that good stuff and colors if you want to set up your default colors and you know on the screen here's your auto enable recording feature uh, our first video for the 2.1 you can uh, take a look at that to see how to get this set up here you know when you're doing quick record and you know, all that good stuff but anyway your plugins you click on plugins here your manager shows all the plugins that you currently have scanned into your uh, library and here's your locations now you can add folders by clicking this add button here and when you click this add button your computer will open up and you can add the location or the path wherever your plugins are stored you might have a VST folder or whatever the case may be me generally to keep things neat and organized I don't even mess with uh, any other locations I use the default uh, public documents machine to library plugins um, I, any VSTs I you know I put on my, my laptop or computer or whatever I drag and drop them in there and that's just where I keep them that way I don't have to worry about any missing you know sounds or whatever or you don't have to worry about you know folder aliases and all that it's just easier just to put it in there I mean why go through all renaming folders and all that crazy nonsense man just just put your plugins in there and that's it and you know if anything gets out of whack you know the only thing you gotta do is just come back here there's one little file right there boom you hit rescan good to go okay then when you want to pull them up for example from over here you make sure here's your channel property icon here's your, your plugin icon okay when you click here native instruments uh, plugins will show up above your external ones will show up here so the native instruments ones you never have to worry about those going anywhere because they're, they're going to pretty much stay in the default path which is what I'm getting at it makes sense because it keeps everything neat and organized you don't have to worry about nothing being moved or lost so I go to external and here's all my plugins and not to worry about nothing being missing so that's pretty much how that works um yeah man that's pretty much it in a nutshell um i think i had another question let's see i think it might have been under libraries somebody was asking me how to import user libraries when you're importing your your custom drum kits what you want to do is you want to make a folder because here i am on my new uh 2.1 software i'm redoing uh, my library as far as importing and that's why it's like hardly nothing here same with my factory library because it takes a long time man getting all the scan so i did you know do this quick to uh get things running but anyway to import your kits you have to go over here to library user okay and you add the folder so what i do on my desktop i right click i make a new folder okay and i name the folder the exact same name as the drum kit okay and from that point, you know, you just hit rescan. You know, you have your folder aliases here. If you want to avoid missing samples, you just double click 
and type in the name of your drum kit. So that's pretty much how that works in a nutshell. And then when you're over here in your browser, for example, you have the native instruments um, samples here, and then you have your user icon here. So when you go into user icons, you click on samples, your drum kits will come up like this. Now, these drum kits I brought up because um, I'm redoing my imaging, so that's why it's going to take me a minute to get everything back in here because I have a lot of imaging to do, man. It's a lot of work, man, getting these graphics done. But you add these to the public documents, uh, NI resources, image folder. And I have these on the website so you can download these. Because basically, being that we have the new 2.1 update, what I wanted to do, I said, well, let's just go ahead and update the graphic images on the drum kits too. Because, you know, we got this new GUI. You know, it's looking pretty fresh. So I was like, yo, I might as well update the graphics too man let's let's keep it moving so what I did was I added these little attractive little speaker uh, icons on the side and that's how I'm gonna do it from now on I'm just gonna put these little speaker icons on the side you know and put little drum kit images in there now as we all know you know people out here they're going crazy with the images people are making whatever they want for images and that's the cool thing about machine you can do whatever you want I mean you can add you know whatever you want you know you can put whatever type of image you got here man that you want so you guys know how that that is so man that's pretty much it in a nutshell that's how you get your sound card set up and as well as getting your plugin set up and getting your inputs i'd rather getting your uh your custom libraries into 